Hey, 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 everybody. This, you guessed it, is the OnePlus 3T. It has landed in the Tank Girl headquarters here. This is Miriam, and we're going to unbox this little beast today. It doesn't look very different from the OnePlus 3 box. That's 3 logo in the front. Uh, same here. It's got the little T logo, of course, here. And on the other side, there's a bunch of stuff back here. Strangely, it doesn't actually say OnePlus 3T in the back. But notice, this is a 128 gigabyte version, which is kind of cool. So let's open this up, shall we? Dun, 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 dun. There you go. I know the cheesy sound effects are kind of crazy, but that's what I do. You guys know this. So more numbers here in the back. There you have it. No clear indication this is any different. And of course it's not because it's identical in size and shape. But you know what is interesting to me immediately that I'm noticing? It feels heavier, huh? So maybe it's slightly densely, more densely packed, and it certainly, certainly does have a larger battery in there. And I can't remember the exact battery difference, but um, anyway, so let's get back to the phone in a minute. I wanna see what else is in the box. So let's see. There we go, there's this, um, very nicely done. This is actually plastic here, and then kind of like rubberized cardboard in the back. It is actually cardboard, and, it makes a multi, you know, multi uh, mode kind of like packaging. It feels like foam, plastic, rubberized cardboard, quick start guide, and a SIM removal tool. Yeah, look at that. This is nice, right? This is what I love about OnePlus. They love, they have such an attention to detail. And this, look at this. OnePlus 3T, T, 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 T. Did you get it? Okay, you got it. Um, I think I kind of reinforced this one quite a bit. Quick start guide, safety information. Ooh, look at that, a OnePlus dash charge. The dash charge logo is so freaking cheesy. Never settle, guys, never settle. All right, uh, I think this is a SIM removal tool. I already talked about that. Let's see what else is in this box. Um, this little thing. Friends, I don't know if you can read this. I'm not going to read it for you, but I'm going to show it to you. Oh, it's signed by Carl. Hi, Carl. Nice. This is very nice. You've done very well. I guess there's a little something I can scratch over here. But let's explore that later. And here, of course, you got the dash charger and dash cable. As you know, dash is uh, OnePlus's uh, branding for their super high-speed charge system, which... Uh, Sorry, I'm gonna have to shake this. It doesn't wanna come out. Now it came out, okay. Dash is their brand for their special custom charging brick and cable. This is for charges, I can't remember. It's like super fast and uh, it doesn't really matter. All phones today have some kind of fast charge cable. The, the way you know it's Dash is because it's got a red thing in here. I don't know if it's just because of OnePlus or what, but you can use a regular USB type C, by the way, of course, type C. There's a little rubbery thingy on there, but you can't tell, you can't use a regular type C cable uh, with a dash charger. There's extra connectors in here, I guess, extra pins, and you have to use their cable. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So it's not just the charger you have to carry around, but all the cable. But also, the cool thing is that you can use this with any USB-C phone for charging, and it still works fine. Um, and also, with the OnePlus 3, which I have, they gave me a cable to use uh, with... Uh, uh, the car charger, which was really nice. So I got a car charging cable last time, so I've been using that car charging cable and charger that is dash compatible. So as you can see, it's a pretty big brick, but it's the same one as the OnePlus 3, so nothing new here. I kind of banged the crap out of this poor box earlier, but there's really nothing else in here. This doesn't really come out. Maybe it does, but not really. So box done. Let's go back to the phone, shall we? 
That's what's different about the OnePlus 3T and why should you care and should you buy this over OnePlus 3 and should you be butthurt if you have a OnePlus 3 because they came out with a better OnePlus 3T? I don't know. That's not for me to tell. But I'm happy I have both and I'm mostly I'm happy I have the latest one. And so what's the difference? Bigger battery, I think it's up like something like 500 milliamp hour from like 330 something to 35. I mean, I don't know. You guys look it up. It's better, bigger battery, which is cool because I think the OnePlus 3 was kind of barely screeching by for me on a daily basis, kind of like the Nexus 6P. But this should bring it to the level of a Pixel, which for me is kind of like the, the Pixel XL I have, which really runs long on battery. Now, it's not the only reason it's gonna be good on battery, not just because it's got a bigger battery, but there's a Snapdragon 821 in here, and the 821 is an improvement over the 820, is more power efficient, so all this together gives you better speeds, better gaming, better battery life. Thumbs up, Carl and the gang. Now, again, all of you are butthurt because this came out three months later, but you know, that's progress. That's how the industry works. If you have a OnePlus 3, non-T, you still have one of the best phones for 2016 in your hand. And this is just slightly better. What else is different? A sapphire glass cover here, right? So the glass on the back of the lens is not glass, it's sapphire, which means they will never scratch. Well, very hard to scratch. Whereas the glass cover on the OnePlus could scratch the OnePlus 3. So that's definitely an advantage if you're into photography like I am and you um, put your phone down on some rough surfaces. And then, the front camera has been upgraded to a, where is it? Right there, to a, from an eight, I think, to a 16 megapixel. Now I'm not sure if it's any better per se, and more pixels doesn't always mean better, but I'll have to test it out and let you know. I'm hearing that there's certainly more detail. Uh, it wasn't a bad camera to start with. Um, as you can see, this has a screen protector on it that comes from the factory, I remove it, I don't like it. But in every other way, this is a one plus three, just T. So Snapdragon uh, 821, front facing is 16 instead of eight, bigger battery, I don't know the exact details, sapphire glass on the back, and you know, so let's remove things, you know, because that's what I do in the show. You ready for the sound? Ah, that was so good. So there's that, and then let's see if I can get the sticker off. Yes, I can, because I really hate stickers. There we go. So now we have something resembling a blank canvas, one plus three T. And let's see if I can remove the front screen protector because it's high roll. That's a little harder to do because there's no catch here. There we go, I got it. Are you ready for the sound? It didn't make any sound. It was like just a bunch of static electricity ticking. So there you have it, the OnePlus 3T in all its beautiful, gorgeous glory. Now, if you've never seen a OnePlus 3, since this is identical, let me walk you through quickly. So this is what it looks like in the front. Let me power it up. OnePlus, yeah. So there, that's the front. 5.5 inch display, 1080p. This is not a Quad HD display, so not optimal for VR, but still a pretty damn solid, high quality display. Um, then you have that new 16 megapixel, eight on the old one, uh, camera, front facing. You have a speaker here, earpiece. You have some sensors, proximity and light and all that. Fingerprint reader right here. Um, and then in the back, you get some beautifully finished aluminum unibody with some integrated antenna bands. Let me put it down so you can see what it looks like in one piece. You get the OnePlus logo here. Um, the LED flash, 16 megapixel camera with f over 2.0 lens and OIS. Now covered in sapphire glass, you can see the little antenna band for the NFC. And then because it's running around the camera, I'm pretty sure, and there's the upper antenna band. On the left-hand side, you have a lock, but well, it's not a lock button, it's a silent switch. So it has three settings, uh, all notifications, um, urgent notifications only and no notifications. And that's one of the features that OnePlus has had on its phone since the OnePlus 2 and it's phenomenal. Um, you've got a volume rocker right below that and nothing really else on the left hand side. The right hand side has the power lock key. Can we focus on that? There we go. Power lock key. 
and the SIM tray. Now remember, Nano SIM, uh, there is uh, 128 gigabytes of storage on this device, uh, so it's not upgradable, there's no uh, micro SD. On the bottom, you have a mono speaker, some screws, USB Type-C with dash charging, uh, primary microphone, and a headphone jack. This thing, that's so useful. That's a universal standard, call the headphone jack, woohoo! And then on the top, you have really nothing. Nothing at all. Now, uh, there's a secondary mic somewhere. I don't know where they've hidden it. Could be inside that antenna line somewhere. But it's a beautiful phone. This is one of my favorite phones of 2016. And for $40 more than the OnePlus 3, I'd say buy this. The Snapdragon 821 uh, is a beast and it's really a worthy uh, upgrade. This still has six gigs of RAM, six fucking gigs of RAM. Holy crap ball, this is like a shit ton of RAM. Um, and then, you know, you can see here, this is the, the setup screen. It's a beautiful screen. I mean, look at it, look at this. So clear, so beautiful. What a beautiful phone. I'm really looking forward to using this. I love the OnePlus 3, and now this just makes everything better, and especially the battery life, which was my biggest issue. So anyway, let's wrap it up, shall we? OnePlus 3T, actually I got a few couple more things I should show you because they sent me some other stuff. So let's go through that real quick. So the phone is awesome, awesome. They sent me a case, protective case. I don't know what material this is made of, um, but it's the brown one. I've got the, the kind of bamboo colored one on my OnePlus 3, which I think I might recycle because I like it better. Um, then there is, um, so that's nice. They sent me with a OnePlus 3 like a package of every single case, including like the one that's kind of like this weird sandpaper, gray stuff, granite or whatever. So I got them all. So I think I'm, this is gonna remain packaged. Um, and then they sent me earbuds. Look at that. OnePlus earbuds. What does this say? All kinds of things. Let's open it up. Ooh, pretty. So, this is funny, like this is excess packaging. Seriously, Carl, you guys are wasting. This is wasteful. There's nothing else in here. Oops, I, I think I cut it a little bit. There's nothing else in here, I don't think. Maybe there is. Is there something? What's down here? Uh, uh. No, no, there's, I don't think there's anything else in this box. Anyway, these are the earbuds. One plus earbuds, I don't know if they're any good. I'm not usually a big fan of third party earbuds. There you go, never settle. Earbuds, cable, remote, all that jazz. Uh, and then it came with, uh, believe it or not, it's probably too big to fit on camera, but these guys always send me also swag, but this is kind of cool. It's massive. It's a pouch containing a messenger bag. That's leather, it's beautiful. You can see here. And it's got a luggage tag as well. I'm not gonna show you this, but this is what I love with OnePlus. They send me swag, they love me. Anyway, OnePlus 3T, stay tuned for a full review. This is gonna rock the Casbah. I honestly think that my three favorite phones of the year are this, the Pixel XL. When we're getting close to the end of the year, I can say this. And the Galaxy S7. Um, there you go. So if you are looking at you know, saving money, this is the one to get because 440, you can't beat 440. $440 for this phone that's absolutely 100% flagship worthy. Well done, OnePlus. You kicked serious ass in 2016. Keep it up. All right, guys, subscribe. I don't know where it is, down here somewhere. Boop, 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 boop. Um, like this, Make, leave some comments. Let's, let's get this conversation going, all right? Talk to you later. Cheers.